All right, we both know why you clicked. It's bonus time and someone's in for a world of hurt. Let's make sure that someone ain't you. Look at this fool. She's flashed. She's scared. Not you, though. You're moving 200 miles an hour and screaming battle cries because you're the better duelist. Look at that. You got yourself a gun. I bet my econ professor would be so proud right now because I'm taking from the rich and killing the rich. Oh, wait. That's Robin Hood, isn't it? That's what he did? Who cares? That's semantics. This could have been a win because of you. It wasn't, but it could have been. Whatever. Let's keep stealing. That shit is fun as hell and thrifties make my soul sing louder than a Wendy's four for four at midnight. The only thing better than dumping on kids is dumping on kids with the guns of their comrades. Benedict Arnold had the right idea. Or maybe he didn't. I don't know history. I just click heads. Now I'm a giving man, a real Santa in the offseason type of guy. So it's time to sit this one out and let my teammate pad their stats because at the end of the day, I can't hand out my overwhelming and unjustified confidence. So this is the next best thing. Freeze Rocket may seem to you like a free kill, but that's short-sighted. Imagine the fear you'll strike into the hearts of your enemies if you use it as a warning shot and then set them down with their own gun. That's right, Chamber. I didn't forget that classic right-click two rounds ago, and you better not either. If there's one thing I love in this game, it's fighting when I don't need to, so this art guy is mine. What's wrong, big guy? Can't hit a barely moving target at five meters? I know, I know. Aim definitely isn't what's holding that guy back, but how are you going to hit clips and style on kids if a sheriff looks like a pool noodle in your hands? Look at my Reyna over there, walled off from the action, having to stare at the minimap in awe as I steal all the glory for myself. Hold up, let's run this back for a second. You walled this. You were sus of me. Where you looking, little bro? Now, who said that duelists only play for themselves? Look how giving I am. I see the danger, and rather than become the danger, I become the nuisance that allows my teammate to become the danger. Once again, we gotta let the teammates get involved, or we'll end up having to 1v9. I don't know about you, but I can barely even count that high, so I'd like to keep it 5v5. It's just about that time again to show this Reyna why Raze comes first in Agent Select. I need this player to wake up in cold sweats hearing the noise of my satchels popping their bones. In fact, I want every duelist player in the world to fear the mighty satchel, for no jet dash can get you these timings. That's right, I'm playing entry and lurk at the same time, shooting people in the front and the back as an equal opportunity employer. Satchels are the truest form of skill expression that exists in Valorant. With enough server time, you too can be just like me and shit the bat at your first opportunity to go absolutely gargantuan with a razor. No! Don't worry though, we're not done with this poor Reyna. I mean, at this point, it's practically cyberbullying, but it's not my fault that she can't hit the schmovement. In fact, it looks like none of these players can handle even the slightest amount of side to side walking. It's like they've grinded 250 hours of grid shot and never once remembered that in Valorant you're allowed to not crouch spray. All right, we found ourselves at halftime. Pretty good scoreline, right? But you're thinking to yourself, there's no hey, way they it. throw this. Well, you'd be right, but I bet you were scared for us for a second there. One important thing to remember when you're playing Raze, the things you throw explode. Isn't that so cool? I mean, think of all the opportunities that these explosions will create for you to shoot the enemies to kill them. <laughs> In Project A, utility doesn't kill. I was about to do the whole spiel. <laughs> All right, this one ain't that flashy, but how are you going to tell me you're top 5% in this game and you're crab walking at me at 135? Like, I'm going to have gerbils running through my mind and forget you my swing. Like, at this point in the ranked ladder, we all know the fundamentals of the game. We make good decisions, so I don't understand how you think you're going to get away with such stupid play. All right, it's 12-5. Chamber's been asked for the last two months now. It's time to just swing this bozo and take our free RR. 